and welcome back to another video. We have another sketchbook video again today. This is actually the next part to those garden tits that I was painting not too many videos ago. So we have already painted three garden tits. Now the next two that I want to do, which will be the final two in this, are a cold tit and a crested tit so i think we're going to start with the cold tit for now and um, see how long that takes that might be the only one we do in this video but i'll see how long it takes me to finish that and then the next one we will do either in the this video or in the next video will be a crested tit so there's a really nice variety here here um and these will be made into a sticker set similar to our robins that we did not too long ago so i actually have i believe uh, seven or eight sticker packs that are going to be shortly available on my website so do keep an eye out i will post a video um close to the time announcing that and if you want to be more up to date on these um, releases please go and follow me over on instagram at lucy Locks art and i will post updates and um kind of a release date for you to add to your diaries for those so let's get into this i will be using my windsor and newton cotman watercolors that i have in my etcher mini palette i will also be using my windsor and newton professional gouache that i have in my go draw palette and also my polychromos pencils um that i have many of and they're beautiful to use and that's how i always do all these paintings you've seen that multiple times now um but that's how i achieve the finer detail is by doing the watercolors then a little bit of gouache and then the colored pencils over the top so let's just get into it and start painting a cult tip so i actually really found the sketching of this really difficult the reference photo I had up was much larger than any of the reference photos I was using for the other birds and it was much more zoomed in so the bird appeared really large and for some reason in my head I just could not compute how to make that bird smaller on my page and believe me I cut out so many iterations of this drop this sketch so i sketched it here and then i realized it was far too close to the edge of the paper the feathers for the tail were going to be chopped off and that's why when it skips to this painting portion here the bird is shifted much further left than i was initially sketching um but in the end we got there um annoyingly sometimes i film from this angle and i completely forget when i'm filming in real real time that it's going to focus on my hand so i do apologize that my hand is more in focus for this tiny little section here um, I need to remember to change that up. I'm hoping in the new studio space I am going to have some more room to film so a few better angles and um, maybe a couple of boom arms that will allow me to film from different angles without my hand getting in the way so I do apologize for that. Um, but yes as usual I am putting down that very light wash and um, it looks a lot darker here only because those areas are actually going to be black in the end um, so I did a, a much deeper wash there but that was actually neutral tint that's not black itself so um that neutral tint is pulling through every time i do these paintings it's probably my favorite color to work with on all of them it does make a massive difference if you're wanting to try out watercolors i highly recommend getting some neutral tint and having a play um it's just a fabulous fabulous color to work with um i've struggled to make the color for the the belly area that's when you see a, a cold tit you'll see that they're actually quite white on there with this very hint of yellow this reference photo had a lot more yellow on there um but i struggled to get the color because kind of that little segment between the wing and the black that's veering down onto the the breast that is meant to be a little bit more pink and so i have to really bring that out when i do my colored pencil um but yeah i struggled to make the colors with what i had um to hand with my cotman colors but I, I mean i think it's a good base for now and that's that's all i'm creating is a base with these watercolors and i'm just slowly layering them and creating some depth by having those various layers 
built up on top of one another. Um, I have, these paintbrushes are actually synthetic ones that um, were from Amazon, I think they're Amazon Basics, and I'm not gonna lie, this one that I was using here was giving me some beautifully fine lines when I was using it, and I heavily rely on that actually with this bird. I went in a little bit heavier with doing the fine feather lines with the watercolours rather than sticking to doing that with the pencils. Um, and as you can see here, I'm just absolutely going ham at these uh, feathers with this because I'm just getting these beautiful fine lines and it's not it's not something I usually find happens too well with the current paintbrushes that I have um, so I'm really pleased that I found a paintbrush that really allows me to do that and allows me to you know create that texture um, that I'm kind of requiring for this type of bird and um, the feathers here on the bottom I absolutely love on birds when I can do these because there's so many feathers kind of crossing one another that you can be really messy with your line work there you can have feathers going in all different directions and therefore your lines going in all different directions and I feel like you can achieve that look really easily with those feathers so I, I do really like doing those and um, the feet here the reference was not clear as to what toe was belonging to which foot so <laughs> I kind of stuck with doing that very vaguely on there um, just so that I didn't have to try and define what was which foot because I had no idea to be honest um, and this is me coming in with the pencils again just like I mentioned bringing that pink out a little bit more um, and subtly there is a little bit of pink in that um, white bit on the cheek um, so I go in and just add that in as well. But um, I'm going to leave you to watch the rest of this video in peace. Um, I'll just give you a step by step of what's going to come. I just continue layering up these pencils, adding different colours and really studying where there's actually a bit of blue light hitting from the background and a little bit of warm light hitting certain areas. So um, I really enjoyed studying that on this piece um, and I feel like it does show in the final, the final piece. Um, so... I'm going to let you watch that and watch me finalising those little areas with some white gouache and some black gouache just to bring out the highlights and shadows and finish this piece off. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.